What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. You know, this one's about 20 weird things in German supermarkets and I sat here for a good 10 to 15 minutes before I started hitting record. Just trying to think if there's anything weird I found here in American supermarkets. Now, it's a little difficult because, you know, we might have things that are weird according to other countries, but for me, the weirdest thing I've ever seen is they put like popcorn chicken and chicken tenders in the fish aisle instead of ever in the chicken aisle with everything else. Now, I don't quite understand that, but I have a feeling that's way different than what we're going to find here today. So this video is from, I believe her name is Deanna and Phil. That's the name of the channel. And like I said, this is 20 weird things in German supermarkets. So without further ado, let's just hop in and see what she has to say here. One of the questions I often get since moving to Germany is how do you get to the grocery store without a car? In most cities in Germany, there are many supermarkets within a few hundred meters of residential areas. There are several large supermarket chains throughout Germany and also small local grocers or kiosks. Is that Aldi's? If I said that right, A-L-D-I? We have Aldi here. In so you can hometown. actually go without a car. Yeah, so a German life. market. And then the next question is, what are grocery stores like? And that is what we're going to do today. We're going to go to a couple of supermarkets and we're going to show them a that little is. bit, but also check out some and weird items one, like, that are super normal in Germany, but maybe not in your country. Our first stop is a local Lidl, which is a German supermarket that has many locations around the world. One thing that you'll usually find in Germany is a fund or deposit machine to return your cans, cases, and bottles. All right, really? first things first when you're in a supermarket in Germany, the fund. Interesting. You return your empty bottles because they are just rented. It's party in there. <laughs> Woohoo! Some from our beer video, which uh, looks like they're not taking. No! Come on. Right, one of the first things that might be also uncommon, cool. you need to That's put really cool. the coin in your cart. Now it's unlocked, trying to get that euro back at the end. In a German supermarket, you'll find the standard items like flour, eggs, rice, and water. Although a lot of sparkling water if you're into that sort of stuff. But there are also <laughs> some unique things which we want to show off. Curry ketchup. You can't have currywurst without curry ketchup or curry sauce. Also very delicious on fries. I've never had curry. Um, I've never had, I've wanted to try it, but while I like spicy foods and and that kind of stuff, I have kind of a weak stomach, man. So I gotta, they sell it I gotta be holding that kind of everywhere. stuff. <laughs> paprika chips. If you like chips, I hope you like paprika flavor. It is probably the most popular chip flavor offered here in Germany. Good and Lord, it's that pretty sounds good. so good. And while we're here, there are also peanut flavored puffs that have the texture of Cheetos, but the flavor of peanut butter. It's interesting. Quark. This I'm is a dairy to to product that, that can be used as a spread or a dip. Order some it has a mild flavor here. and it's creamy and the Germans love it on their bread slices in the morning. While we're in the dairy aisle, Stinke Käse or Stinky Cheese is a unique one. This stuff smells so bad that every time you open your fridge, you will know there's some Stinke Käse inside. Milk. One thing you'll notice is so that the milk is often not refrigerated like in the US. <laughs> and they are usually in these cuboid cartons instead of a jug of milk. It will also be measured in liters and not gallons. And over the past few years, there has been an exponential growth in plant-based milk. Bread slicing machines. Hold on. Is this back to just the fact that the US likes to ruin all of our foods? You don't put your milk in the fridge? I mean, the milk is like the last thing you grab in American supermarket, milk and, and cheese. That way you can get it home in, in, in time before it starts getting warm and, and spoils. Hmm. Hmm. That's kind of weird. It must be just, I hate to say it, must be just better products because we just like to put preservatives and everything here. Bread slicing machine. One thing that's in many supermarkets in Germany is a bread slicer, so you can slice your fresh bread. There's usually fresh bread bread that's here, so, and you can just so get it sliced. Cool. We're probably not going to get one today since we're holding off on the bread a little bit, but uh, we've definitely done it before, and it's delicious. That is so We cool. couldn't let Lidl have all the fun, so we visited a few other nearby supermarkets to see what they had. Show me your favorite item. This eye poker. You this poke your eggs. I pick. This is a machine. Poke a hole in your egg before you boil it. Yeah. It doesn't pop. It's incredible. Eggs that are not refrigerated. This might be strange to anyone from the US where eggs are required to be refrigerated, yeah. but not to worry the eggs. Not as much. I mean, you know, 
it's not like you put a chicken in the fridge before he pops out the or she pops out the egg so that's not as much on shelves in germany are safe to eat there are just regulations throughout europe that prioritize egg production opposed to post egg washing also you'll notice that eggs are commonly in packs of 10 and not a dozen white asparagus in jars for 25 years i thought this is the only way to have asparagus it is ready to eat right from the jar. White asparagus or Weisser Spargel is seasonal and quite delicious, but these you can get all year round. You can even order white asparagus on pizza. I'm about to pass on that, but thank packets. you. <laughs> if you bake, you'll notice that there are packets for baking powder, yeast, vanilla, creams, and so much more. The German recipes will even list out one packet of backpulver or baking powder as a required amount. Taking individual bottles. All right, this is actually very common in the German supermarket. You just rip the packages open and take single bottles, and that's why it looks like this. These are all empty packages. Why don't we do that? I mean, we spend, I spend so much more money on a pack of, you know, six or eight. I can't, I'm trying to think how many it comes in a. See, like eight or ten, maybe, uh, like little, little Mountain Dews, you know, just to get a little bit of caffeine in me and stuff. and Man, if you could do something like that, we don't want to spend all the money. It feels kind of weird to do that, but super normal. Very normal here. And also you have Genius, the apple you? schorle, the apple with the sparkling water mix, or the apple rhubarb, like the German's favorite summer drinks. Rhubarb. Rhubarb. And for more drinks, rhubarb. you can get alcohol in supermarkets here. Beer, wine, even spirits, it's all in one place. You yeah. don't have to go to another store to get your favorite beer or whiskey. Regular now liquor, we don't have that in supermarkets, but we got beer stuff liquor in supermarkets. Stuff. Bourbon. Some Greek ouzo, no problem. Romancini. Mm. There's gin. Yogurt. And that's the vodka down there. Premium vodka. 879 the whole bottle. Question for all my, my German friends here. Do you guys get American liquor and whiskey and stuff in, or is it just like European whiskey? Because um, I'm, I'm very curious to see what you guys think of... Um, you know, of our alcohol over here, I, I barely dive into it myself, but, you know, I have a certain brand that I prefer. Um, I got a story for you at the end of this video. I got a story for you about that. Wow. Also, we found this Duff beer and I just had to buy it. Fish in jars is also a thing. You might be used to canned tuna, but take a delicious fish roll that's slightly pickled right from the jar and put it on a bread roll. Yummy. One thing you can get is all the German uh, snacks no, no, and candy, really. the latest and the greatest peanut butter knoppers. I really like these rice crispy things. Mm. No name Dickmans, those are also here. A lot of good stuff. It's dangerous. <laughs> Looks delicious. Let's ride this sweet train over to the frozen section and spaghetti ice. This ice cream dessert is in the shape of spaghetti and it is a very common thing here in Germany. When I first That's, visited, I thought it was a bit so strange, cool. but it tastes nothing like spaghetti, and it's a very fun way to enjoy vanilla and strawberry flavors. That's Before so cool, we continue man. looking at weird things, we need you to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Got it's it. free. See, this is over. I'm definitely doing it. If you want to further support us, you can become a channel member or support us on patreon.com slash Phil, where we make additional videos, and we want to say a big thank you to our family tier patrons. A big, big thank you to Marcus Odensman, Fred42, Ethan Mitchell, Heather Kuffner, Hessen Matrix, Shar Mills, Tarek Malkosh, Stephanie Vend, Jörg Michels, Megan Rosati, Shannon Bradley, Klaus Eisart, Lee Lim, Robert J. Casper, Roger Lupka, Julia Fangruber, Marian E. Demet. Now back to the video. In Germany, we like our packaged meats. You will find an assortment of blood sausage, wurst, met, and something else called Wurstsalat. This sausage salad is a chopped mortadella type of meat in some type of cream or mayonnaise and pickles. Pretty weird. Yeah, it's Tampons weird. without applicators. If you're coming from the US, this might seem strange, but it is very difficult to find tampons with applicators in Germany and a lot of other countries around the world. These tampons tend to be smaller and easier to carry around. <laughs> also, they use less plastic overall. All right, so we just made it home. We bought some of the weirder things. We bought some of the non-weird things. The necessities. But those were some items that I always found super normal growing up here in Germany and took Deanna to come here to show me that they're Deanna, not normal okay, so everywhere. Deanna. Yeah, some of them are pretty unique, but let us know what's unique or weird in your country. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, that was very interesting. That was extremely interesting. I wasn't expecting to see, like, 
the milk not being refrigerated and stuff. The eggs, that doesn't really shock me too much. I mean, we put, obviously, you know, eggs are refrigerated here in our supermarkets, but, um, or grocery stores, whatever you're calling. But that one wasn't, but the story I wanted to tell you was I, my, one of my, my good buddies, um, he played professional ball over in Europe. I believe he played, he played in Australia for a little while, but he also played in Austria. And he said that Austrian beer was lights out, not only better than American beer, but way more powerful and potent. So that's why I was asking you, you know, if you have any American liquor and stuff over there, what your thoughts of it, how strong it is, you know, stuff like that. So if you don't mind, my German friends, let me do that in the comment section down below. But that was a very interesting video. If you guys haven't already, go go like that video, go subscribe to them. This is my first time watching them. They're definitely getting a sub from me. Um, that way we can maybe, you know, do a couple more of their videos here in the future and just help us learn and grow. So very, very interesting. Um, yeah, I don't have weird stuff like that. I don't think we do here. I mean, I'm, I'm really, really trying to think. I was trying to think while watching the video, but, you know, I'm also uh, in the video. So I can't think of anything like that here. But any Americans watching this, if you find anything like that or if you know, you know, we have anything like that here, let me know. Let them know in the comments down below. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. Uh, like the video if you haven't already. Share the video with out, out with all your friends. Subscribe to the channel. Um, it's free for you, and, and it helps me tremendously. We're getting really close to being partnered, and it's uh, yeah, it's just, it's just awesome. I'm just I'm kind of baffled by it. So, thank you all so much for being here, and have a great rest of your day.